defined by our lift is that you know this this graph is actually our worldview, which is that this blue is what you pay for, and the red is what you get for free. Or the blue is um, your owned media and your earned media, and the red is all of the uh, sorry the blue is your paid and owned media, and the red is all of the extra you get in earned media. So. We, be, we, you know, we, are, we believe that the way you should evaluate the effectiveness of a campaign is not things like impressions and clicks, but um, whether or not when people see your content, um, they freak out and share it with other people. Whether or not you get the real kind of endorsement of people tweeting, posting on Facebook, emailing, IMing, talking to each other. All of those hordes of board office workers who spend half their day passing stuff around, when they see your branded media, it needs to be good enough that they will pass it on to their friends and, it, and will spread um, organically. And viral lift is really the metric for whether or not something is spreading organically. Um, so every um, piece of content on BuzzFeed has its own dashboard that shows how much traffic did we send and how much came organically from other sources. So for the 100 best signs of the Rally Restore Sanity, we sent a little over 100,000 views and we got almost 900,000 coming from other sources. You know, 327,000 coming from Facebook, a bunch from Reddit, a bunch from StumbleUpon. So, um, this is an example of really of converting really well. Um, like we seeded it with 100,000, and we got almost a million total. Um, Basset Hounds Running only got about 10,000 uh, seed views, which means we didn't even send that much traffic to to, to Basset Hounds Running, but it got picked up on StumbleUpon and Facebook, and Andrew Sullivan linked to it from the Atlantic, and it got a bunch of our media. Um, thank God for Andrew Sullivan. He's the he's our big our, our friend in uh, in uh, the mainstream media. Um, and, um, you know, a huge amount of, of, of conversion to viral lift. Um, and so, uh, here's the Charlie Sheen quotes, again, another example of it. Um, and so one of these, one, but because we focus on this viral lift, we find that we're able to get a huge amount of, of love on Facebook and other social platforms. So, um, you know, out of, um, we're in the top 10 of, of sites in terms of Facebook likes, ahead of big, much bigger sites like CNN and HuffPost. Um, and that's because we make this kind of content that is about people interacting with your friends and, sh and sharing on Facebook. Um, so um, we're at a, this, this is an advertising um, event we're, we're at right now. And so um, this actually, in my mind, all is incredibly related to advertising. And I think viral lift is, sh should be the new metric for advertising. Um, and so how BuzzFeed makes money is we um, are a partner for people creating and launching branded media. And I think a big trend you're going to see in our industry is that people are going to start using, particularly pub publishers are going to start using the same content management system for their advertising content as they use for their own content. So one of the things that was frustrating to me when I was at Huffington Post was that we would invest in making this awesome um, platform for our own content, but then advertisers would get traditional banners um, and wouldn't get the full benefits of all this technology we're investing in our platform. And so at BuzzFeed, what we, what we did differently was we... Um, we made it so that all of our advertisers and all of our partners get the same platform that makes our content go viral, they get for their own content. So Coca-Cola for their happiness truck gets the reaction buttons on their, on, underneath their video, they get all of the social optimization, um, GE for their eco-imagination gets to use our CMS for all their branded content, and that means we can spread their branded content the same way we spread our own content. Um, so here's an example of um, a, a, a television show, The Poor Decisions of Todd Margaret. We added a Poor Decision badge for them. So <laughs> now there's another reaction. Our users love that, and we're clicking the Poor Decision badge anytime there was some celebrity doing something stupid, or any time there was some kind of a, 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 a you know silly video or stupid thing on the web. And then they would um, win a badge of, uh, with um, David Cross, who was the star of that show. Um, and so they get the exact same tools and the exact same reaction buttons that our content um, has. And when we remove the Poor Decision Badge, our users actually complain. They're like, we want the Poor Decision Badge back, even though it was a campaign that we, we did for, uh, for an advertising partner. Um, we also do the Add Yours for, for brands and advertisers. So we have Athena's Hummus, um, his character Yaya getting photobombed on um, to, to different um, things that she disapproves of. She disapproves of absolutely everything except for traditional hummus, by the way. <laughs> um, and so, um, and here's one we did for Living Social, where they had a Super Bowl ad with this guy who goes crazy doing, taking advantage of all these Living Social deals, um, the cupcake guy, and we cut him out and let people photobomb him on all these other um, um, scenarios, um, and got a huge viral lift for, for Living Social. 
Um, and so, you know, really the, the way we think about working with advertisers and brands is, is, is inspired a lot by the way we work with, with our own content, which is, you know, try lots of ideas. In these cases, it's a bunch of, of, G, of GE branded content for GE's Eco Imagination uh, campaign. Push that content across the social web and measure where you're getting the viral lift and where you're getting the sharing. And then push to get as big of a, a lift as possible in terms of earned media where people see your content and share your branded media. Um, and so these are, are really sort of the, the secrets to, so does the back button work? One other, one other note about this is that I think another kind of in, in, interesting industry point is that publishers have been really good at making engaging 